got it. It's a pike. Oh, it's a gar. It's Tisa, and I'm making another video about a new species that I caught. I went to the Wisconsin River two times actually, and it's quite an adventure where I went to get there. I guess this is my entry point. This is one of my dumber ideas. And when I was there, there's all these fish by the shore freaking out. And this is right at dawn, actually before dawn. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> fish are jumping right in front of me. So I cast a MEP spinner, which I had on there. And this is the cool part. It was a gar. It was a gar. And I got one on my line. Got it. It's a pike. Oh, it's a gar. You gotta be kidding me. Get in here. Oh, oh I snagged it. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's a gar. <laughs> Now, as you can see, I didn't really have it hooked. Maybe you couldn't tell in the video. I actually snagged it and dragged it to shore. And once it was on shore, it flopped and went back in the river. So that does not count. Finally got some. What do I got? Ooh, fresh water drum. Yes. 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 Whew. Now, uh, the last video I caught a dogfish, but I also caught a yellow bullhead in that video, which is a new species because the first time I caught a bullhead, it was a black bullhead. Yeah, Look I at it. Look at the fish. It's a tiny bullhead. Hey, bullhead. Now, here's how I came to figure all this stuff out. So when I caught it, I knew it looked different, and I wanted to look at the tail because the tail of a yellow bullhead is a little different than a black bullhead, but the yellow bullhead got all mad and was all like, meow, meow. Look at its tail. Hey, hold down. All right, let's take this off. Let's look at this again. This tail. Oh, man. All right, let's let him go. Then I had to let it go because I dropped it. And I'm like, all right, enough torture to this fish. But the next day, you see this rod right here? <laughs> My son picked a cattail. And when he picked the cattail, um, he's like, I want to make this into a fishing rod. So I got out some paper clips and duct tape to make the eyes for it. And then I used this old reel. And I duct taped it to it. And I went to the pond where I did catch the black bullhead first time and well we caught a black bullhead on this rod and i'm like wow this bullhead looks a lot different than the bullhead i caught the day before here's how i know the barbels the whiskers if you will are black on a black bullhead and on the yellow bullhead well it is yellow looking for one but also if you look at its whiskers they're pretty yellow so they're a different species for sure all right so there you have it Species 24, the yellow bullhead. Oh, that's awesome. Now I gotta go. Um, I've got important stuff to do right now, like release monarchs. Look at this. See that? Oh, there it goes. That was its first flight. 
re-release monarchs and um we've got a bunch of them that are out right now if my cat doesn't murder them before they get loose you see him yeah they just catched we've got lots of chrysalises chrysalis eye and well i'm gonna release these guys yeah i'm just the nature boy not the original rick flair nature boy Woo! we like nature here at the teeth and taller household all right, give me a number one, because you're number one. I'm 24. That's how many species of fish I've caught. I'm actually 40 years old. All right. Push all the good buttons. You know what to do. Yeah!